what's going on everybody? It's Will Curran from Endless Events back again with another Whiteboard Wednesday. And today we're talking about power placement when it comes to events. I know this isn't sexy, this isn't fun, but it's very important I think for planners and everyone in the events industry to kind of understand some basics around power. We're not gonna get into things like how many amperages you need, things like that, but there is some basics around power that can help you make sure that you have a successful event, avoid tripping breakers, and uh, kind of think ahead when it comes to your event. So. When it comes to power for an event, you always talk about measuring things in what's called a 20 amp circuit. Sometimes 15 amp circuits if it's a little bit older of a building. Um, essentially, 20 amp circuit is a single outlet. Um, you, whenever you're talking about power, you wanna talk about allocation in that amount. So what that means is that if, for example, you need to have a ton of lights, you might need you know, five 20 amp circuits just for that. So whenever talking to a venue about how much power you're gonna need, um, before you're getting into those big high voltage power systems and everything like that, the power drops as we say, and you might be talking about the normal power in the room and how many outlets and where are they placed and all everything like that. So that's what we're talking about today is how and where you need to be placing your power for a very successful event. So um, I wanna talk about this as a very specific scenario that happened just a couple weeks ago and how um, just asking the question of how many 20 amp circuits in a room is not enough. So for example, in this event, it was a very small, you know, small size general session, right? You know, you got your chairs, you have your stage, maybe two screens on either side, some speakers. Maybe we had, you had some stage wash just for some basic lighting on stage, you know, your front of house area. And uh, you know, we asked and we said, hey, we only need three 20 amp circuits for the event. Well. In this case, that question wasn't sufficient enough and there needed to be a little bit more foresight when it came to the event. And I'm gonna explain exactly what that means. Um, so normally whenever you're talking about saying you need three 20 amp circuits, we're gonna split up things. For example, maybe the screens and the audio are gonna go on one 20 amp circuit, the lights are gonna go on one other 20 amp circuit, and then we're gonna use the front of house and all the tech table stuff on another 20 amp circuit. Well, what happened with this venue is that instead of it being very logically placed, it was very illogically placed when it came to the power. And I'm gonna explain what I mean exactly here. So as we were starting to set up the event, we started looking around for outlets that we could plug into and kind of looking where they are. The general convention, and again, this is the general convention. A lot of newer buildings are this way. Uh, in fact, a lot of newer buildings, luckily the outlets are labeled so you know which ones are separate. But in a lot of older buildings, it, there might not be this consistency, but the general consistency is that if it's on one wall, one wall is one 20 amp circuit, another wall might be another 20 amp circuit, and another wall might be another 20 amp circuits. And typically, rooms, separate rooms do not share 20 amp circuits. So you can kind of use that general convention. I mean, like that just eliminates, you know, people plugging a ton of toasters in one room for it to trip off the other room. Well, uh, you'll see in this case, that wasn't the case. So as we start kind of looking around for power, we realized, okay, there was an outlet back behind the stage. Okay, so we'll probably use that mainly for the, the scenic lighting and the lighting that went on the scenic. And then there was another outlet that was kind of, you know, over in this general direction that we were like, okay, cool, we'll plug all the lights and all the, um, the screens or the, the sound in the screens to that, the, the projectors. Um, and then we saw there was another outlet over here on the wall and you know, we decided, hey, we'll plug one of the lights into there. That should be you know, plenty of power for that. And then there was one other outlet right back here in the room and we really said, okay, well that's where the front of house tech table is gonna be. We'll put all the, all the stuff in there. Well, what ended up happening is that we assumed that everything would be on separate walls. Sometimes you'll see things like maybe these two would be shared but very, very weirdly enough, even though there was you know, a couple outlets on the ground, which we obviously couldn't use because there's tables and chairs over there, these two 20 amp circuits end up being one 20 amp circuit. So what we thought was two separate complete circuits was one. Ugh, yikes. Well, we got lucky that this back one was different and that this one was different. Well, what ended up happening is this very, very weird scenario happened. Well, we said, hey, you know, is there, three 20 amp circuits in there. Well, normally that would be totally fine. Well, that's where this kind of happened. So what happened is like any typical hotel ballroom, there is a foyer. Try to get, keep this in frame for you guys. So we had this foyer out here, right? This is kind of like your pre-function space, right? Maybe you had some tables for check-in, you know, maybe you had some uh, cocktail tables for people to, you know, have their cocktails at or whatever it was. Well, what ended up happening is over here on this wall in a completely separate room, there was a table. And on that table was a toaster. And I know you know where this is going now at this point. So this toaster was in this room. Well, what ended up happening is we were all set up. We ran all of our equipment. We made sure it was running all for hours on end. Everything was good to go. We had all the power. 
But what ended up happening is five minutes before doors, the power went out. Oh my gosh, well, what happened? First, we didn't even know, we'd like instantly you kind of just go, oh, did the computer just stop playing music? But then you see the lights are off, the screens are off, and then you're like, okay, something's wrong with the power. Call up the venue, you know, the problem can get solved very, very quickly. Well, what ended up happening is that there was another outlet over here. And you know where this is going based on the color that I'm putting this in. Is that this red 20 amp circuit over here was shared with both this one on here and this one all the way on the other wall. I've seen it before and it's always be safe to be aware of that sometimes the outlets that are inside one room, if they're on the same wall, so for example, let's say there's an outlet right here inside here and then on the other side there's another outlet over there, those might be 120 amp circuit, just electrical laziness, I guess. Um, but what ended up happening is this one all the way over here was the same as these two. So what it did is it knocked off our screens, our sound, the light over here, and the, the stuff that we had plugged in over here. And we didn't understand why. Why was this happening? We tested and made sure everything was balanced, everything was good to go. Well, it's because the question of, is 320 amp circuits enough, wasn't enough. Because there was another thing being used out here. And toasters, microwaves, hair dryers, they're all notorious for sucking up a lot of power. That's why you, know, you tend to pop your breakers inside your bathroom if you plug like two hair dryers in at the same time. So what ended up happening is this toaster got turned on and it knocked out the rest of the power. So it's important for you to know this story because a lot of times we go into venues and we say, hey, do you, how much power do you have? Okay, we have three separate 20 amp circuits for that bottom. Okay, that's great. But the next follow-up question should have been, does any of the foyer space share that power within here? And then also the catering company to let us know and say, hey, we're planning on plugging a toaster in inside the foyer, just an FYI. Well, if we had known that this was a same 20 amp circuit, which they might not even known, um, and we had known that they were gonna put a toaster on it, we probably wouldn't have, would have known that this was gonna happen and wouldn't have allowed it to happen. So what ended up happening is the client had to order a power drop, uh, which obviously is expensive, and we didn't wanna do that, but we had to for that space. Um, and that's just a, a reason why it's really, really important for you to uh, know that this placement and where everything's going inside the space of your room. Because these power drops that use high voltage power can be very expensive, and sure, they give us ample amount of power, but we definitely don't want to do that. So, um, let's make sure I covered all the things I thought I would talk about. So, what is a power drop? Uh, what uses a lot of power? What doesn't? Things like, for example, we talked about toasters and non-AV related stuff, but things in AV, things like conventional lighting, for example, use a lot of power. Projectors use a lot of power, speakers use a lot of power. Um, unless you're going like all LED or using new high, or, uh, high power efficiency equipment. Um, but um, that's just stuff to keep aware of. You wanna kinda keep that separated as well. And I think I covered pretty much everything else. Um, so yeah, so you can kinda see how something that would seem completely logical, that an outlet all the way over here would share a toaster all the way in a separate room on a separate wall all the way over here but it ended up making a little bit of a nightmare. Luckily, we got it all fixed and everything was good to go because we were able to problem solve really quick, but you could avoid this situation just by asking those simple questions of, in addition to how many 20 amp circuits do you have, where are they placed, what's getting plugged into them that isn't just the AV equipment, and also, is there anything weird and funky about your venue that we need to know about when it comes to power? So, I hope this was super duper helpful for you. I'd love to know down in the comments down below, what sort of like power nightmares have you had before? Do you have a story of when things kind of went awry and you had wished that you had known either about this or maybe there was something else that you picked up on? I'd love to hear down in the comments down below. Please let us know. Um, and if you like this video, make sure to smash that like button. If you didn't like it, make sure to show some dislike, but make sure to leave us a comment and tell us why, because I want to make sure I make these videos even better. It's almost been a year since we've been doing this, so uh, really, really exciting as well. And uh, yeah, if uh, you really, really like this and you want to get more, make sure to subscribe because we'll send you emails, we'll send you notifications and let you know when the next Whiteboard Wednesday is. But I got to get out of here and go prevent some more power disasters. I hope you guys have an awesome day, an awesome event, and I'll see you real soon.